Government officials are visiting the Cecil Berg Green Hydrogen Operations today in the wake of ongoing blackouts. South Africa is currently on stage 4 until 4 p.m. and then moves to stage 5 until 10 p.m. tonight. Government is exploring alternative energy avenues to, of course, uh, raise sustainability uh, to the country's power grid. But ENCS Govan Wittles is in Cecil Berg to give us more details about this. And Govan, good morning to you. Uh, what's the significance of uh, this visit, I suppose, this morning? Good morning. Good morning. It's significant because it aims to fulfill South Africa's commitment to a just transition to a low-carbon economy. In short, that means we're trying to move away from coal. And we've been tracking the development of the so-called green hydrogen belt that will stretch from Limpopo through Gauteng to KwaZulu-Natal. And we started at the Anglo-Platinum's Mohalakwena mining complex where they launched that green hydrogen truck. Today we're in Sasselberg in the Free State where the Mineral Resources Minister, Gwede Mante, and the Premier um, of Gauteng, uh, David Makura, will be inspecting the conversion of some of the facilities here into a green hydrogen producing facility. They've repurposed a number um, of their processes here to try and achieve the objectives of that just uh, transition and try to generate cleaner energy using less fossil fuels. That's the reason for the visit today. But, of course, we're hoping for an opportunity to ask the the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mantashe about load shedding claims that the department is not approving ESCOM's uh, request to buy more electricity from IPPs and even today the minister will be holding a meeting with bidders for the final uh, or the latest bid window in that IPP program as the government attempts to uh, secure more independently produced energy in the face of these rolling power cuts uh, that have been implemented. So we're expecting Gwede Mantash here as well as a representative from the presidency and the Gauteng Premier, David Makura. We're not sure at this stage whether we'll go on the tour with them, uh, but we'll definitely ask them those questions regarding the state of South Africa's energy supply. Yeah. And just before I let you go, Govan, how important are those answers from, you know, the ministers? Because there's been growing outrage, right, not only from South Africans, but different interest groups uh, for more urgent and drastic intervention when it comes to the energy crisis in the country. Well, they're important concerning uh, the future of the Minister of uh, mineral resources and energy. It's important to state here that this past week, Gwede Mantash is saying that he shouldn't be blamed for load shedding because his job was to secure additional generation capacity for ESCOM or the ability to buy that energy from the IPPs. And we're in bid window five now. That's That's been concluded. But right now, uh, energy from bid window one is only coming into the grid. So the time it's taken between opening of the bids, closing them, and then eventually getting that power into the grid from the independent power producers has been very slow. And the price of the initial um, um, bid windows uh, for electricity per kilowatt is also decreased as it's reached the bid window five. So the price of electricity for bid window one is quite expensive. And the minister is under pressure here to take some responsibility for uh, ESCOM's failure to supply in electricity uh, to South Africa. He's pointed out that the running of the utility itself is the responsibility of the DPE minister, Praveen Godan. And when ENCA spoke to him about a month ago, he stated that he didn't believe ESCOM's claim that they were 6,000 megawatts short um, and needed additional capacity of 6,000 megawatts, saying that the power utility is running short of its full capacity and should run at full capacity uh, to meet that shortfall, uh, essentially saying that he doesn't believe they need to source additional power. Besides that, or aside from that, he's still opening up those bid windows, meeting with IPPs and intending to pro uh, procure uh, in electricity during the load shedding. Um, but whether or not he'll survive um, as Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy is yet to be seen, especially as increasing calls come for him to be reshuffled by the President. All right, we'll leave it there, colleague, and I appreciate you giving us this update. We'll be sure to, of course, come back to you as soon as there are other developments within that visit. Out in Cecil Berg for us is Govan Whittles. All right.